Look at all this stuff. This place is the bomb. The bomb? Yeah, the bomb. Oh, thank you. Reminds me of the 60s. Yeah, I know. You a flower child, hippie, free love. Who told you about that? Come on, Dad. I hear you and Mom talk about the good old days all the time. All that crazy stuff you guys did in school. Thank you. You think we're strange. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Think your mom would like that? Definitely. Yeah. It's very cool. I agree. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. What's going on down there? Ooh. Let's go see. Hey, Dad. Can I ask you something? Well, no, no, that all depends. It's not going to be about women and free love. I ain't going for it, Jerry. Nah, not about that. What? It's about Grandpa. How come you wouldn't take his call the other day? Well, say me and my father, you know, we never were really that close. We never didn't talk that much. But it's the way it is. It's the way it's always been. But he's your dad. Can't you just, you know, kiss and make up? No, I don't think so. Go back to you when you ask. You know, to explain. It was kind of like uh, a guy walking in another man's shoes in order to understand how he feels. Where's the cord? Give it to the monkey. Oh, no, no, forget it. No way! That's a lot of money. <laughs> hey! Clay! No, nothing's for sale. This is my private collection. Gifts I received in my travels to far-off places. And no, I don't do fortunes. This is whack. Yeah, we're in the wrong place. Come on. Oh, no. You're in the right place. Follow me. Over here. I have the exact thing for you. Try these on for size. They'll make you feel like a new man. Oh, uh, no, thank you. I don't really need another pair of shoes. Oh, these aren't just another pair of shoes. Take them. I can't do that. Consider them a gift in exchange for the kindness you showed Laszlo. Who's Laszlo? You know these people, don't you? Choose to work tomorrow? I don't think I'll be going to work tomorrow. I'll stay home with you. Nah, you've already missed enough school to take care of me. Then what's another day? We'll see.
Daddy. Hey. Look what we're doing. Ooh, that sure smells good. Mm -hmm. Don't touch them. They're for my bake sale. Alright, slow down, slow down, kids. Slow down, guys. Slow down. We just just harness that energy. We'll put the power company out of business, huh? <laughs> you look tired. Yeah. Worry yourself out, didn't you? A few vitamins and a herbal drink wouldn't fix, plus uh, a few of these. Uh-uh. Bake sale. Oh. What's this? <laughs> New shoes? Me and your son, you know, we went treasure hunting and uh, got something very special. A very special person. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Peter got a 65 on his last math test. He did, and I got a 44. <laughs> See ya. Got it. Off to another meeting of the mathematically challenged. <laughs> he wants to stay home with you tomorrow. I know. <sighs> Honey, I'm a little worried about oh. Clay. He's really taking this hard. He should be out making new friends, playing ball, getting into trouble the way you used to at his age. Oh, maybe not that much, but some. I'll talk to him. Wait, wait, wait. When did I get into trouble? Hmm? Okay. Huh? <laughs> While we're on the subject of talking, what about your parents? Are you ever gonna make peace with them? Sing me my special lullaby. Okay. Good, Good night. Close your eyes and dream away. Tomorrow is a brand new world. It is a brand new day. And somewhere down the road, someday you may recall this lullaby I sing to you tonight. And I be with you every time you do. Good night. I hope your dreams will all come true. So many years ahead you can look forward to. And somewhere down the road some quiet place and time This little lullaby may cross your mind And I'll be with you like I am tonight Good night Good night, baby Good night, Daddy I love you, Daddy. I love you too, baby.
It's about Grandpa. How come you wouldn't take his call the other day? Out. He's probably gonna kill me. You guys wanna go to the Butthole Surfers concert? You nuts, man? They're the finest girls in school. Besides, you're so stuck up and nose bleeds because of the altitude. Just forget it. I gotta tell you, man, when it comes to babes, you are too lame. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's go to the mall. I better not. My dad stayed home from work today. Is he okay? Oh, sure, he's right. It's just that, you know, he just needs a little extra rest. Mm. Cool. Well, I'll call you tomorrow, man. Peace out, man. Yep. Hey, Dad, I'm home. I'm gonna get us some dinner, all right? Clay. Hi. Mama will be right back. Maggie and Aunt Celeste will be here soon. How are you feeling? Kind of like I'm knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> See, a joke. It's getting better already. You can look this thing, Dad. I just know it. It was just something like, something I got to tell you that I never told anybody before. It's OK. Save your strength. When I was a little boy, my mother used to have this postcard collection. My favorite was this uh, painting of uh, this uh, golf course. This is this is this huge country club. Rest. Mom will be back any minute. And, uh, I was dreaming in that golf course. It was heaven. And you know what? They wouldn't let me in. <laughs> Dad, don't. Clay? Me and my uh, father, we weren't very close. I gotta tell you, Grandmama <laughs> and the Grandpapa, <laughs> I always loved them. Find that postcard for me. It'll help you understand our family. I promise.
you doing with that stuff? Just folding, getting things organized. You're giving it away, aren't you? No, no, honey. These are all going right back where they belong. You're not the only one who misses them. Then why are you playing this music he hated? You think just because he's gone, you can do anything you like. Maybe that's why you didn't fight hard enough to get him off those stupid herbs and vitamins instead of taking real medicine and doing the job of your information. In many countries, that stupid stuff is real medicine. Don't forget, that kept him alive for more than six years. Well, how do you know chemo wouldn't have worked and kept him alive forever? a great answer. I'll handle these. Shucks! I hate this play. Go. Mom, I need one more. There are only three of us. What if Daddy's spirit is hungry and comes back? Good thinking. Play, honey. Dinner's ready. I think you should eat something. I'm not hungry. I know you're angry that your dad left you. But while you're in there, just take some time to think about what he left you. It'll make you feel better. Sometimes you have to walk in another man's shoes to understand him.
are you just standing there like a jerk? Come on, Frank. Hurry up and clean this mess before we get a detention. Frank? My name's Clay. Frank is my father. I'm sorry, I, I thought your old man's name was Richard. Who are you? Hello, we're your friends, Telegram and Bruce. Did you get beaten by the tetherball or something? Home for my road. So I can't believe you dropped your tray in the middle of the cafeteria. I know. That must have been so embarrassing. And then the cafeteria Jeez. lady got all mad at you. Oh. Let's uh split. It's really getting kind of dark in here, don't you think? Yeah. Maybe the Oreo triplets want to be left alone. Move it, bozos. What a bunch of peckles. What's their problem? Us, man. You know that. So, Bruce, got a date for the dance yet? Nah. I think I'll go alone. You know, play the field. Check out the action when I get there. You? No, not yet. Got any ideas? How about Lisa Calmanary? Huh? Give her Hey, Frank, how about you? You taking Mary Lou? Frank. Yeah. You okay, Frank? Oh, what's got into him? See, dork. Oh, oh, sorry. Class? Class? Settle down, please. Settle down, class. Thank you. Today is current events day. I hope you've all been reading your newspapers. I cannot understand this lack of interest in current affairs. You think if it's happening today, it's not history? Frank, why don't you begin? Psst. That's you, man. Get up there. Come along, Frank. Go on. Announce your topic, Frank. President Kennedy and Cuba. Oh, go on. I guess it all started with the Bay of Pigs invasion when CIA tried to kill Castro. Uh, Castro threatened to get even. Lee Harvey Oswald was a Castro supporter. He visited the Cuban embassy in Mexico City two months before he started working at the Texas School Book Depository in Dallas. From a window there, he shot Kennedy. Frank Crosby, I have spoken to you before about your behavior in class, but this time you have gone entirely too far. President Kennedy is carrying a very big load for such a young man. He is trying to do more than any president has ever done. Now, I expect a five-minute oral report from you tomorrow <laughs> on his programs and policies. Busted. Ba 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 brand. Ba ba ba. So I thought I'd take a chance. Yeah! Take my hand on Barbara and Barbara and 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 take my hand on Bar
Go change into your plate clothes and come and help me move these baskets by the front door so the ladies can pick up their ironing. Hello, Grandma. Grandma. Uh, Mom, I met Mom. It's true, though. The older I get, the more I look like my mother, don't I, Frank, huh? Frank? You're awfully quiet. Did something happen today? Uh, nothing special. Just the usual stuff. It's just... Hey, Grandma, Mom, is that a new postcard? It sure is. It's from... Can I see it? Now, since when have you been so interested in my postcards? Is that boy back from school yet? Look, uh, upstairs and change your clothes before you help your father. Meanwhile, I'll make you a malted with an egg in it. Go on now. You had a lot of stuff. You collected a lot of junk. Look at this old thing. Baseball cards. Mickey Mantle. Quick. Well, what was quick? You're changing your mind. Only a minute ago you said you weren't hungry. Mom, I'm out of the shower. In a second. Can you do this? Someone coming for dinner? Oh, Maggie said it's for Daddy. I need a towel. Here I come. I'll play with you tomorrow, I promise. But now it's time to go to bed.
Know him? Yeah. Here. Right. If you could be any animal, what would you be? Uh, I don't know. What would you be? I asked you first. Okay. I would be a lion, queen of the jungle. That way, nothing could hurt me. I'd be a bird, so I could fly to heaven and visit Daddy. Go to sleep. Got school in the morning. Are you still up? I'm not letting you guys out of my sight. Hey! Hey! This can in your pack, it looks like it's gonna explode. Stuff! What kind of stuff? Just stuff. Like what? Mm, shoes. Shoes? Yeah, my father's shoes. Next you'll be telling me your father's ashes are in there. Why would I carry my father's ashes around? I don't know. <laughs> Why would you carry your father's shoes around? <laughs> because I want to, okay? Like when my grandfather died, my grandmother carried his false teeth around until she kicked the bucket too. <laughs> Good to see you. Great to see you. How are you doing? OK, I guess. Well, come and sit down. I was just going over the guest list for tomorrow's show. Did you redecorate again? Yes, I did. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's great. It's just the. isn't this the third time this year? Well, you know I have trouble making up my mind. Why do you think I've been married so many times? Now tell me about my niece and nephew. How are they doing? Clay's all confused and angry, with no way to let go of what he's feeling. And Maggie, no. Oh. So last time, am I going to get those kids through the rest of their lives? How am I going to get myself through? Jan, maybe you should talk to a therapist. 
It helps. Take it from me. I bet I've seen more couches in my life than a furniture salesman. <sighs> I'm too tired for that. I'm tired of being brave, and I'm tired of being responsible. <laughs> Frank was the most special person in my life, too. Well, you know that if you need anything, you, you or the kids, here. And we're okay, honestly. I just got something in my eye. <laughs> yeah, tears. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, where's that postcard? Okay, shoes, here we go. Dad, remember when you helped me with my passing game? Clay Crosby threw 264 yards and four touchdowns as Corolla High went on to win the state championship. <laughs> Touchdown! <sighs> oh yeah, places. goes. What, Steve? Throw it, Frank. Throw it, Steve. Throw it. Murder him. Frank, over there. Oh, look out. Here they come. Uh-oh, busted. <laughs> what are you doing down there? I've got such a spaz for a little brother, I can't believe it. It's time for your dance lesson so you won't be totally pathetic at the starlight ball tonight. I, I, I can dance, see? Break it down, break it down, break it down! Very popular. <laughs> With who, retards? Okay, now, stand with your feet a little apart and bend your knees and put your weight on your right foot and twist your left foot like you're grinding out a cigarette. I'll take that. No, no, Frank! Not my cigarette. You'll thank me in life later. Those things can kill you. 
killing me is going to junior college and having to live in this house. And what's killing me is marches after school. And looking at grandma's post, mom's postcards. Isn't it crazy the way she keeps them in the... Frank, just shut up and twist your pitiful little body. Good, now switch feet. <gasps> Sorry. If you scratch the record, you're gonna buy me a new one. Okay. I'm gonna start again. And this time, stay over there. <laughs> and just move to the music. Just pretend you're in the Peppermint Lounge. Okay. Come on, Come baby. On, baby. <laughs> Let's do the twisters. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let's do the twisters. Ooh, ooh. Take me by my little hand. My little hand. And go like this. Yeah. Twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twisters. Yeah. Turn that loud music off and do your homework. I do the twist. Oh, yeah, the twist. You should see my, my big sis. She really knows how to rhyme and knows how to twist. And do twist. Frank, what's her name? None of your business. What's her name? Is she in your class? Maybe. Maybe. Is she pretty? Come ask me so many questions. <laughs> this is to your father. Just once, I kind of like to have meat on Friday instead of casserole. I made apple brown betty for dessert. Diana Shaw's recipe. I found it in that Life magazine. The one with the picture of the troops at the University of Mississippi. That James Meredith sure opened a can of worms. James Meredith? Yeah, that's a colored boy I like to hang out with white folks. Like you. Colored boy? Yeah, hey, echo in here. You know, all this talk about integration. Young folks are running around, splitting the world wide open. People are changing. Negroes are citizens and just want the same freedom and equality as whites. Negroes? Zip it. Both of you. Daddy, can I borrow the car? I have to get Frank to the dance and then I have play rehearsal. All right. The tank is empty, so you and your brother are gonna have to pay for it, huh? All right. Don't you change that radio station. I won't. Yeah. Now you're surely not going on them dirty old sneakers. Take them off and go put on your jammas. Oh, Ma, there's no time. We're already late. Go, go, go. We'll see ya. Is that her? No. Is that her? Leave me alone. Show me. Leave me alone. Hey, Frank, you're tied. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun.
fun playing with me? This is very embarrassing. Pardon, excuse me. Pardon, hey, excuse me. Kids. Coming through. Excuse me. What a doofus. <laughs> Dad, stop playing with me. You think this is funny, don't you? Watch it, Frank. Red light, red light. Stop, stop. No. Don't, don't mind me. It's just my new dance. Hiscox. Yeah, right. And I've been kissing Lisa Kalmanari. <laughs> you and Mary Lou? No way. Yeah. So when do you know how to dance? Uh, I've been getting lessons from Celeste. Are you talking to me? Uh, I, I like the Three Stooges. You like Three Stooges? This is what I like. <laughs> oh, that. doesn't murder us? He's got to catch us first. <sighs> oh, We'd be God. safer living in Alabama. Thanks for saving my butt. Hey, thanks for sticking up for us. That's a guts, man. Yeah, it did, didn't it? The three of us, we're going to be friends forever, right? You know, so they feed us to the worms? Well, what are you doing? Blood Brothers. Whoa, blood isn't cool, man. Well, maybe it's just my blood that isn't cool. Hey, man, how can you say that? It's just that blood scares me. Oh. The sight of it makes me want to Ralph. Ralph? I never heard that one before. Uh, yeah, Ralph. You know, like blow chunks. Hurl, heave, spew, puke. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. Well, then you're gonna Ralph your head off when Dennis Beck gets a hold of us. There's gonna be blood everywhere. If you hear when you Ralph, you don't just Ralph on the ground, you Ralph on Beck. He already looks like he's been Ralphed on. <laughs> 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 Don't you boys Ooh. know it's late? Better get on home before I drag you down to the station. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, sir, officer. Yeah, right, right away. Uh, late, later, man. See you, Frank. You too. I thought we were busted for sure. Better a cop than back. Yeah. Find your dad. I promise. You have to keep this a sacred secret. You can't tell a soul, promise? Okay, promise. You're gonna think I'm nuts. You are nuts. Okay. Do you think time travel is possible? Like in that book by H.G. Wells? Yeah, kind of. Okay, here it goes. But if you laugh, I'm gonna kick your butt. Okay? <laughs> Okay, look, before my father died, a, a, a gypsy lady who ran this totally weird shop gave him a pair of wingtip shoes. And when I put them on, I go back in time, but I become my father. I mean, I look like me, I sound like me, I know stuff from now on, like cigarettes are no good for you, but everyone sees him. I, I do things I wouldn't do, things that my father must have done. Sometimes he takes over my body and I have no control. Next thing he'll tell me, you and Maggie have E.T. hidden in your closet. Man, I knew you wouldn't believe me. No, it's just weird, that's all. Maybe if you could bring back something cool to prove... I tried, but it didn't work. I stuck this mint, 1962 Roger Maris card in my mouth, and In your then... mouth? You would have got spit all over it, dude. <sighs> okay, here's what you do next time. You look for a Mickey Mantle card. It's worth so much more. You put it in an envelope and you scotch tape it to your body, okay? This way it becomes a part of you. That could work. If you do that... I'll believe you. Okay, we better get back. Oh, you go ahead. I just need a minute. And don't be late, man. You'll get so busted. <sighs> okay, guys. Quick little visit with Grandma to find the postcard and the make. Then back to school. Blueberry, it's a favorite. Do you ever think about the future, Mom? Like uh, rockets and a man on the moon? I mean, this family. What's gonna become of everybody? It's a pretty big question, honey. Sometimes I ask myself the same thing. I worry about Celeste. I know she wants more out of life than I have, but like all this talk about becoming an actress is just plain silly. Do you ever worry about me? Oh, I wish you weren't such a cut-up in class. Otherwise, I think you'll turn out just fine. I think I want to end up selling real estate, having a big house or something like that. Now, Frank, don't ever let a job or money be the measure of your success. There's so much more to life. Then how will I know if I'm doing well? Oh, honey, I promise. When you're doing well, you'll know it. You'll see it in your family's eyes. <laughs> Two strawberry jam sandwiches. Mm. Now off to school you go. Go on, scoot. I 
I got a message from Dennis. He says to tell you he's gonna hurt you real bad. You may even die. All right, class. Let's begin. Yesterday, we began talking about Aphrodite. What did we say was her particular function no, on Dad. Mount Olympus? Stop it. No. Frank. Aphrodite was goddess of what? Sex. <laughs> Love. Aphrodite was the goddess of love, Mr. Crosby. Stop it. Sex and love are not necessarily the same thing. Yeah, like you'd know. We also said that it was rather ironic that Aphrodite, the most beautiful of goddesses, married Hephaestus. Why is that, Miss Calminari? She had to. Mr. Crosby, is your name Miss Calminari? <laughs> I didn't think so. To continue, Zeus threw Hephaestus out of heaven, and the fall resulted in a permanent limp. Uh, you'd limp too, Mr. Dorfman, if you were married to the guys of sex. <laughs> that was so funny, man. You were a gas in English with that Aphrodite stuff. Just like your old self, man. <laughs> You utter one word and you're dead, do you understand? I'm gonna walk down the hallway as if nothing's wrong. I'm gonna walk out to school and then I'm gonna kill you. No, not another detention. My old man's gonna kill me. Hey, boy. Hey, Dad, how's work? Uh, electrical business don't pick up. I'm gonna have to go back to that factory and operate that damn drill press. <clears throat> How come you're not at school? Because it's four o'clock. Four o'clock? Man should still be working at four o'clock. I guess. What? You guess? What you know about working? Huh? Put hot food on the table for both you and your sister. What the hell you think pay for that? Hand me that wrench out that toolbox. What's wrong with you, boy? Can't you hold on to anything? Huh? Your sister says she want a brand new car. Don't you think I am Rockefeller or somebody? Ah, this wrench is too big. Go in the garage and get me a small one. And make it quick, boy. Boy. 
Your grandmother called today. She misses you. Says she forgets what the two of you look like. Anyway, she's invited us up for the weekend. There's a winter carnival with games and animals. Want to go? I want to go. Come in. Mind if I put the stuff away? Sure, Mom. If something were bothering you, you tell me, right? Right. So, you sure you're okay? I don't know. It's just that I can't concentrate on anything. All I think about is dad. Yeah, I know, me too. Really? You know, we get impatient with Maggie because she pretends daddy's at the table or singing her to sleep. But in our own way, we do the same thing. Pretend, play games. We just don't talk about it. I think we should. I guess. Mom. Why was Grandpa so mean to Dad and Aunt Celeste when they were kids? Well, I don't think he intended to be mean. I think he was just disappointed. In what? Himself, the limited opportunities for African Americans. So he'd done all these heroic things in the war and kept democracy alive, and then he got back home and nobody cared. So. He married young, had a family, and just settled. As your dad and Aunt Celeste grew older, he seemed to be resentful, almost uh, jealous of them. Why? They were young. They had their lives ahead of them. He'd given up his dream of becoming a doctor in order to support them. Did Dad give up his dream for us? <sighs> Absolutely not. You and Maggie were his dream. You know, some men were born to be fathers. Your dad was one of them. Sleep well. Good night, Mom. Good night, honey. Beginning to think you had forgotten the way. We stopped for breakfast. Hi, Grandma. Oh, sweet goodness. I see you. Don't stand there with your teeth in your mouth like that. Come a little closer so I can get a better look at you. Sometime today, boy. Hi, Grandpa. Bags, boy. <clears throat> Same old junk. Some things just never change. Hey guys, let's get it right. The postcard's in the garage next to the roller skates. Here's yeah, a little... 
little tune you can groove to. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen some sizzling skaters so far here this evening at Scooter's Roller Way, where you can leave your cares behind and let your dreams come true. Now, I know the judges had a hard time making up their minds, but they have done it. In a couple of minutes, we'll have the performances of our two finalists. In the meantime, here's one more tune you can bop to. It's at the garage. Way to go, man. Made it to the finals. These shoes have a mind of their own. What'd you say, Frank? I, I mean, these skates I I have a mind of their own. They're not laced tight. I could twist my ankle. I think you laced them a little too tight. They cut off circulation to your brain. Hurry up. We only have a few more minutes to warm up. These skates are pretty crappy. Now, blades, that's the way to go. You guys should invest in them. Better yet, invent them. You're acting like you've never been on skates before. How are you going to win the competition with dorky steps like that? What competition? Duh. Competition that you and your sister might be able to win if he's not acting like such a spaz. Come on, let's go. Come on. These things are dangerous. I need a rest. Hey, dork. I can hit your butt up there, Crosby. You and your stuck up sister. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you gotta help me. <laughs> Bite me, Beck. <laughs> See you, dork. Bite me? What are you, a maniac? Come on. We better take a rest before the finals begin. What finals? Frank! All right, all you cool cats and kittens out there, I'm gonna ask you to step back into the shadows. Clear the floor, it is the time we have all been waiting for. The championship round. Now our first contestants are last year's champs. Lisa Palminari and Dennis Back. Face. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our final contestants, and I must say they have their work cut out for them. Let's give a big moonlight welcome to Celeste and Frank Crosby. Like this, a bit shimmy, or don't you hear me? Yes, we're out there having fun in the warm California sun. The girls are frisky in the old frisco. A pretty little miss wherever you go. They walk, they talk, they talk. 
Dad is dead set against my acting career. He won't even let Mom come to my school play. Maybe he's right. No way. Gonna be a great actress someday. Rich, too. <laughs> well, if I don't follow my dream. Hey, Celeste. Then follow it. Here. Take my eye. And when you're super famous with tons of money, don't forget your little brother and his kids. This should go change. Oh man, these are so cool. He's out. Postcard, here I come. Clay, what's the rush? Uh oh, hi, Grandma. Where did Grandpa go? Grandpa went to fill up the car. He'll be back soon. Come here. Come let me make you a cup of hot cocoa. It's instant, like everything else these days. Uh, Grandma, can you make me a malty <laughs> with an egg in it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I put that old machine away years ago. You know, your father loves maltings, too. Yeah, I know. I kind of learned a lot about his childhood. Grandma, why was Grandpa so strict with Dad, not Celeste? You know, he was doing the right thing, you know, by not showing too much emotion, preparing his children for a life of limited hopes and opportunities. But your father and Aunt Celeste, they had hope. Did you have hope, Grandma? At first, we both did. In truth, uh, we never lived the life your grandfather dreamed of. 
But he always tried to provide the things we needed. I mean, even if we didn't always have some of the things we wanted. We were never poor. We were never rich, but we were never poor. And I always loved <laughs> Goodness. I hope my tongue has worn out its welcome with all this wagon. This is so nice. It's just like when your father used to sit right where you are. We'd have long talks. About what? <laughs> I remember once he was about your age. And he, oh yeah, that was just before Celeste ran off. He asked me how he'd know he was doing well as a grown-up. And I told him he could tell by the look in his family's eye. And when I look into your eyes, I can tell he did very well indeed. He did most excellent. <laughs> most excellent. Hey, this looks great. He's going great. <laughs> Look at that cloud. Look at his hair. Do you want hair like that? That red hair? Oh. What? Where are you going? You want to walk straight. We're sorry. Say, Maggie, wait for Maggie. Mom! Mom! I want to play the games. Oh, my. You as frisky as a litter of pups. Here you go, my dear. Here you go. There you go. Where'd you go? And stay together. Hey, Maggie, wait for me. Hey, little girl, would you like a balloon? Hello, little lady. Here you go. Let's see your stuff. Got it. Ha -ha, well done. You know this before, eh? There you go. Yeah! Oh, oh great shot, Maggie! Hey, you got your last one. Yes! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. All right! Yeah! yeah. Oh, my dear. Oh, my gosh, Very fish. Fish. There you go, sweetheart. Hey, Maggie, where are you going? Hey, Maggie, wait up. I think you forgot someone. I don't want him. You sure? He nearly jumped out of the bag after you. I think he likes you. He's going to die, just like Daddy. It's not fair. Come on. Look, before you were born, Mommy's parents died. I, I cried a lot. They were nice. Anyway, Daddy told me not to be sad. That I was made of a piece of them, and that they'd always be part of me. As long as I lived, they lived. It's like this little guy. He's made up of a whole chain of fish. Just like me and you, I'm made up of a whole chain of family, where everyone lives forever in each other. So here, take them. Take them. Come on, take them. Take them. Go show mom. Be sure when you're out, you don't just rough on the ground. Rough on the back.
person. Yeah, I just need one more person. Now, hey, wait a minute. Now, there's a hungry-looking boy. Just right for the power pancake-eating contest. The what? The first person who finishes all the pancakes wins $100. I don't think so. Yeah, oh, come on, come on. Give it a try. You can do it. No one's ever beat our champion, Dennis Beck. Hey, give him a little encouragement there, maybe. Ah. <laughs> hey, that's the spirit. Come on up here. Way to go. Way to go. Sit right down there and put that number eight contestant bib right on him. Okay, well, looks like we're ready to roll. Oh, my God, it's Clay. This year, all the contestants have to put all the fixings See what the boy on the made pancakes. Hey, go ahead, contestants. Uh, get all those fixings fixed up there on those pancakes. Get all your stuff all slurped up there. Get yourself set and go! <laughs> it's underway, everybody. Come on, cheer them on. Pick your favorite pancake person and give them encouragement. Oh, it's looking good. The competition is looking good already. Keep eating, everybody. Get through those stacks. Oh, look at our champion go. Look at him go at it. <laughs> Keep encouraging them, everybody. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Go, Clay, go! going to pass out. This is not like him to do this. It really isn't. Competition Bill character. Eat, boy. Eat. You're slowing down, champ. You're slowing down. Come on, boy. Show me what my son is made of. Eat. He never did like that, that, that SOB. <laughs> did you ever tell my dad that you were proud of him? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Didn't have to. I always knew. How? Was he supposed to guess? Yeah, what is this, the Spanish Inquisition or something? You should have told him, Grandpa. What? Look, boy. I work hard to take care of my family. Your father and that, that, that Aunt Celeste, all they want to do is have fun, you know, live out the dreams. What's so bad about that? I want to make sure he take care of his responsibilities. I'm scared he wouldn't be prepared for this world, a world that didn't want him, a world that didn't want me. I must admit, though, he, he did get some good grades. <sighs> he kept mouthing off in class. And them misfit friends. He couldn't do nothing with his hands. Try my patience sometimes, especially when I get home, you know, tired from work. You know, then, then I... Hit him? No, 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 no. I laid, they never laid a hand on him. No. no we'll, we'll, we'll tell you one thing, though. He wasn't scared. He never would back down. One day, he walked past my raised hand into adulthood. Nah, he's gone forever. I 
yes, sir. Yes, it wasn't much of a success for Bob. Well, maybe you were after all, Grandpa. Because when Dad got sick, he refused to be scared. He didn't back down. You would have been proud of him, Grandpa. Very proud. So it's a picture of him at the graduation. He graduated with honors. So proud of him, I could burst. You never told him. Uh, no. I'm telling you. I love that boy so much. Dad gave me a message for you, Grandpa. He made me promise to tell you. To tell you that he loved you. Listen up, guys. We're real close. Postcards in the garage. Take me to the postcard. Yes, we're back. I just can't find it. a lot of memories in this room. <laughs> he won this on our first date. How did you and Dad meet? Oh, my. I haven't told that story in a long time. Um, <clears throat> we were in the same psychology class. And 
I would say for that whole first semester, I never even noticed it. And one day, about a week before a final, I got this postcard in the mail. Your father had a thing for postcards. And it said, I'd like to go out with you. And it was signed, row four, seat 17. So the next day, I took special notice of who was sitting there. And uh, at the end of class, I gave him a piece of paper with my phone number on it. You know, at that moment, my life changed forever. My life changed again the day the doctor told us he was sick. December the 20th, that was the date. And everybody was feeling good about Christmas and um, about their lives. You don't have to tell. No, I do. I do. Your father fought the cancer the way he fought everything. Like he couldn't think of not winning. But the radiation wasn't working and the chemo just turned his body into a battlefield. The pain was always there. So we found a doctor who put him on a special program of vitamins and herbs, acupuncture, visualization. And it worked for him. For us. So Clay, please don't blame me. I don't. Two days before he died, I got another postcard in the mail. It said, I'll wait for you. Take your time. Take a lifetime. And it was signed, eternally, row four, seat 17. You know, it's funny, I have no regrets whatsoever. Except for one. I really wish you'd had more time with him. fun at the carnival. You did? I didn't know you liked pancakes so much. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're the champ. You know that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. What a great going away present. Nah. It's a coming home present, boy. Your father and your aunt Celeste, they never came back. Don't you be a stranger, too, boy. All right. I have a present for you, too. Oh, yeah? Don't give your mother any trouble, okay? Okay? I love you so much, Grandma. Oh, I love you both. You are the dearest things in the world to me. Oh. All right. Gotta get moving now, y'all. Okay. Okay. Hey, sweetie. Bye. Go. Here you go, baby. Here. I feel like we're all starting over. 
Everything's gonna be fine from now on, you'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey, boy. Don't you forget that promise now, huh? Take care driving now, here. Hello, Celeste. I'll make you a deal. You can listen to anything you want. Anything? Yeah, anything. If we can make a stop on the way home. No questions asked. <laughs> hey, you got a deal. Hello? A anyone home? I'm closed. I, I guess you don't remember me. Of course I do. You're the boy with the father. Now go away and close the beats behind you. I came to return the shoes that you gave him. Did your father wear them? No, I wore them. So you just slipped into another man's shoes. Did they fit? Yeah, they fit real well. But I don't need them anymore. I thought maybe you can give them to some other kid. Look what came in yesterday. Bye. 
sweet dreams close your eyes.